Can I just first start off by saying that I am so glad to be with you today. Uh, Although you've been seeing regular YouTube videos and regular podcast episodes, I was actually healing from my surgery. And this is my very first episode recording after surgery. And so just want to say thanks for being here, for watching our YouTube channel, for listening to the podcast and all the things. So today we are talking about knowing what to delegate. And if you know that I had the surgery, then you know for a couple of weeks I was not working. But if you follow me on any social media platforms, you know that everything was still business as usual. You kept seeing posts, you kept seeing emails, YouTube videos, podcasts, you kept seeing all the things. And it's all because of systems, processes, planning, and knowing what to delegate. And so today, We're having a conversation about knowing what to delegate. So welcome back to another episode of the King and Kelly podcast, where we talk about all things business, marketing your business, and then having a balanced life in the midst of it. And so when I thought about this particular episode, you know, I thought about it from two standpoints. One, about all that I had to delegate in order for me to have surgery. And then two, because I know that we are getting ready to head into 2024 and you've got some goals. You may have some of the similar similar goals that you had last year and you may have new goals. And so one of the things to note is that If you are going to go after some goals and you weren't able to accomplish them before, then there is a fair chance that one of those reasons is because you need other people to help you. You need to be able to offload some things uh, off of your plate onto somebody else's so that you can get accomplished the things that you need to. So I'm going to give you some, some, some examples. So obviously I run a business, but when I look at like me having to have surgery, there were so many things that needed to be done in order for me to have surgery heal and not have a bunch of things to do like in the hospital or right when I get home. And so one of the first things I had to do is I had to first make a list. And so we're gonna, I want you to apply this to life and to business. I had to make a list, okay? And so here was this date, which was Monday, November the 27th. Everything had to be done by the 26th. And I had to determine what was it? What needed to be done by November the 26th? And so I had things for my personal life that had to be done and I had things for my business that needed to be done. It was exhausting, an exhaustive list, but I had to have those lists. Otherwise, I would know what all needed to be done. Then I also would know who could help me with the things that needed to be done because if I didn't know what it was, there was no way to delegate. Okay. And so one of the things, funny thing, one of the things that I need to have done was I needed my house to be cleaned from top to bottom because my recovery is six weeks. I can't lift. And I didn't know how my body was going to respond. And the last thing I wanted to, to do was come home after surgery to a messy house. Two, I had someone coming to stay with me for a week, Dr. Janelle, thanks so much for being here. And I didn't want her coming into a messy house. Three, I have three cats. And so whether the house was clean or not, it was just gonna get dirtier and dirtier and dirtier with having three animals that are fully hair and who don't clean, you know what I mean? Um, And so I said to myself, okay, that is on the list. Am I the one that needs to do it? Now, honestly, I kept trying to be the one to do it. I was doing little things here and there over and over and over again. And then it was just like, I can't because the the hour or two hours I'm spending doing this, I really need to do something else. And so one of the things I, I, I delegated was hiring somebody, somebody to clean the house from top to bottom. What did that do? That freed me to go and get, do everything else, do some other things, okay? Then when it came down to, you know, like all the nurses that were serving me at at the hospital, I wanted to give them gift bags. And so I needed to be the one who ordered the things because I had to determine what I wanted to spend, what I wanted to order. And then when it came time to stuffing the bags, I had to go, okay, can I do this or can somebody help me? And so I chose to have people help me to do that. As it pertains to all the things I needed to order to heal, I had to do that, okay? 
Now, when it comes to like my podcast, I had to record the episodes, but I didn't necessarily have to do all the other things. With regards to all the videos that were going out, short videos and long videos, I had to record those, but I didn't have to be the ones to put them up. And so a month in advance, I went to my assistant. I said, okay, we know that this is the date here. I want to have as much stuff done by the end of 2023 so that I'm not trying to do anything while I'm trying to heal. And so we had to make this long list of all the long videos that we needed to record, I needed to record in order for that to happen. Super long list, I mean super long. We started this whole process in September. So I was double recording in September and then triple recording in November, to finish November, to finish all of December in November, okay? And write everything and all that. And so I needed her to create the list of things to do and then I needed to be able to do my other part. The next thing was I needed to be able to hire, finally find a social media manager, which is gonna be the best person for us. We have been trying for a year and a half, almost two years to find the ideal social media manager. And I finally decided I can't do it. So I hired an agency that outsources and I worked with them and I said, listen, I've got a hard date. I am stopping at this date and I need to be able to have this person at least by this date, so I can train them a little bit. You're on a race against time. And they were like, okay. So I outsourced it to a company. They found me, I think it was four different great candidates. I mean, they, they went through 25, but they narrowed it down to four. I met with all four and then we made a decision on the social media manager we have today. But in the middle of that, I kept telling my assistant, well, I got all this other stuff that I need to do. I needed you to be preparing so we can train that person for a couple days while I'm here. And then the weeks that I'm out for you to be able to work with them. Right. And so that was all the things, some of the things that I had to do. Uh, Sorry, my cat down, down there below me, but some of the things I had to do in order to prepare for my surgery. Now, when it pertains to your business in general, one of the things you have to determine is what all is being done on a regular basis. No one can determine that, but you, even when you try to bring somebody on, that person is coming into you your system, your process or lack of processes, and you've got to share all of what is happening there. So one of the best things you can do is list out in no particular order, all the things that get done in your business every single day, week, month, year, okay? Or need to be done, all right? And then what you're gonna have to do is, you're gonna have to go, okay, of all these things here, what do I have to do? Like if you are the one that creates content, like you're on video, then obviously you have to record the content. Doesn't mean you have to script it or upload it, but you have to be the one that does that. If you work with clients, then you are the one that works with clients. You are the one that's probably running payroll unless you have human resources in your company. So when you have that super long list of things, then you want to detail What is it that you have to do, okay? Then you can put it into little categories for yourself of what you have to do. Then you take that list and then you begin to categorize that. So is this admin? Is this marketing? Is this graphic design? Is this IT? What, put the categories, okay, of all those other things. And then you take a look at all of that and determine can you find people to do those other things? And like, okay, So nobody on my team has access to my Stripe, PayPal account, or my bank account information. Why? For obvious reasons, right? Um, So if I have to pay something, then I am typically the one that is responsible for that, okay? The ability to give a refund, my team can do that. The ability to pay somebody, the team does not have the ability to do that because that's pay, like like there's certain things you just have to make sure that, um, you're doing and and other people are doing, right? At some point in time, we will have somebody that's over all finances. That's not me, but right now it is me. So I determine what is it that I have to do and what is it that other people can do? And so that's the same thing that you want to do, okay? And so the thing about it is, is that a lot of times, many of us are 
we're just doing too much. Or we feel like we're not in a financial place to hire somebody. That crippled me for a really long time, a really long time. And don't get me wrong, I wasn't making a ton of money. And so it was hard for me to fathom the idea of paying somebody. But if I'm really honest and I take a look at some of the ways I was spending money. So I had a salary or whatever I was paying myself and there were things within that salary that I could have done without. And I could have taken that little bit of money and paid somebody one hour a week, five hours a month, two weeks or whatever to do certain things that would take things off of my plate. But I didn't understand that. And I didn't, I didn't want to go without having that thing that I had but that actually crippled me because I was just doing so much for so long all by myself. But eventually, once I actually hired an assistant, I realized how much space I actually had to bring somebody on part-time that would then help me to make more money in my business, that would then make, give me more space to hire more people to do things. So we were paying all these people on Fiverr, like, you know, here and there to create graphics for us. And it just started to add up to be like a full-time uh, person and the graphics weren't even that great. And so I had this realization where it's like, okay, I'm going to have to bite the bullet and take, you know, a, a chunk out of what I earn, like as a, as a, um, employee of my business and start putting that towards a part-time or full-time graphic designer. So that way I can train that person how to do what it is that I'd like the way that I like it. And then they are able to just operate for us on a regular basis because the more we kept hiring all these different people on Fiverr and even Upwork, you know, it was just costing us so much money and so much time because we had to constantly train. It was just crazy. And so eventually we brought on a full-time graphic designer, which is now like, they know what I like, they know how I do what I do, and then they're able to flourish and our company's able to run. So when you're thinking about delegating, you can't give tasks to people until you have it, you can see it for yourself. So when we hired my assistant, uh, I had someone mentoring me and he said, make a list of all the things that you don't like doing. I was like, what? He said, make a list of all the things you don't like doing and then turn that into a job description and find somebody who likes doing that. I thought that sounded kind of cruel, but at the same time, I was like, if somebody applies for the job, they applied for it. It's not like I like manipulated anybody. So I did that. I made a list of all the things I don't like doing, wrote a job description, posted it, and had all these people apply to this job. And this is how I have my assistant today. She's really good at what she does. And she's really good at things that I am just not good at doing. And I am good at things that she is just not good at doing. And together they work out extremely, extremely well. Okay. So if you are going to go after your goals for 2024, Right now, while we're in this moment in time, I want you to make a list of all the things that you're currently doing, outline what you have to be the one that does it, and then the things that you don't have to do, categorize them and determine who you need to hire first. More than likely, you need somebody to assist you first, maybe not full-time, maybe just part-time, and then find somebody to do that with you, okay? Now, if you have any questions about this and you're watching here on YouTube, just ask me in the comments. I would love to assist you. If you're listening on the podcast, come on YouTube at Kia Kelly on YouTube and ask any questions. Okay. So thank you so much for listening and watching.